Hi, my name is Marion Kelmer, and today uh, we're doing another video in our series uh, that's called The Benefits of Doing Your Own uh, Independent uh, On-Farm Research. And this video's topic is about the methodology that you use or the protocol uh, of laying out your plots at, at your own farm. And this is what I've learned over the last 33, 35 years of, of doing it myself. Number one, um, I think this is common sense, but we want you to pick a relatively uniform place in the field. I don't think we want to see a lot of waterways. I don't think we want to see a lot of hills, a lot of changes in soil types, uh, those kind of things. So pick an easy place in the field uh, to be able to put in your research plots. Um, the second one is the being able to mark the beginning of the research plots and the end of the research plots. And for many years we used to use flags and we'd write stuff on it and we'd roll them up, bend them over, push them down into the soil and we'd dig them up at harvest time. Uh, that's all fine and dandy, but I think the easiest, foolproof, 100% guaranteed way to not lose the location of your research plots is to use the planner to define a marking point at the beginning and the end. So if these are our end rows, and we're planting going north. When you get close to the end rows, we simply want you to make a hard left with the planter. Turn around on the end rows, and when you pull back in, drive a little bit wide, and then swing back in and head back to the south. Therefore, I've got a definite triangle out here that is now the beginning of my research plots and then we can run our strip trials down here. When we get to the end of the research plots do the same thing with the planter and therefore we again have a triangle that marks the end of the plot. No matter what happens down corn or, or uh, heavy residue levels once you take the end rows off you know exactly where it starts exactly where it ends. I always recommend that we go the length of the field I always recommend that you go the width of the planter. What I'm looking for is larger plots, and we all know that the larger the research plot, the more accurate the data. It's very simple, similar to checking gas mileage in, in your car or your truck. We, we don't fill the gas tank and drive around the block and reload the tank and try to check gas mileage. It's just not accurate. We fill the tank and we go 300 miles and then reload the tank. Um, I always replicate four times for a minimum. You can go more if you like. Uh, the other thing is is uh, keeping uh, the, the research plots accurate uh, so that the data doesn't get skewed. One of the things that we do at, at my farm, if our plots are running north and south, when it comes time to spray or apply fertilizer or lime or something, we always go in the opposite direction, 90 degrees to the row, and that way it, it helps avoid the potential of, of any skewing of the data. Um, don't get too complicated on the first year. You know, population plots are the, are the easiest thing to do because you can just reach up and turn the knob. Um, make some notes. You know, we run 30,000 and then 35,000, 30,000, 35,000. It's just real easy. And that way, when it comes time with the combine, it's, it's uh, just right, right there in front of you. Um, tram lines, we've got auto steer. It's pretty easy. If you're pulling a 30-foot planter and you need tram lines, especially in soybeans, uh, set the, the, set the uh, auto steer for 32 feet, and that way you'll have a gap to put the divider in uh, with the grain platform. Harvest is, is a walk in the park. Again, I don't even get out of the cab anymore, either at planting time or at harvest time. And once we pull in, um, I click up to a new load on my yield monitor. That way I've got all zeros. And then I'll toggle switch it um, for the length of row. And then I can use the yield monitor for the moisture. And then last but not least, the grain cart's got a scale on it. And so we just dump it into the grain cart on the end rows and we weigh it out and then we can analyze the data uh, on a rainy day at home. So uh, those are uh, the highlights. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to call me on my cell phone number uh, at 309-368-1182. I'm, I'm really excited. I'm, I'm anxious to help you learn something new at your home farm. With that, thank you for watching and have a great day.